Welcome back to part seven of our live training series here with our K24 swapped Civic SI. This training module, we're gonna be on day two of our calibration process, looking at the cold start and warm up enrichment tuning process, as well as dialing in our acceleration enrichment fueling. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Civic SI. This training module, we're gonna turn our attention into dialing our cold start and warm up enrichment, making sure the engine can crank, fire, and run properly, have a proper air fuel as it's warming up. The idle control is gonna be sorted out in that cold start warm up transition period, so everything's gonna operate and idle properly couple things to discuss and looking at that process. We're going to take a look at our transient fuel tuning process, which is going to be our throttle tip-in or acceleration enrichment. So every time we blip the throttle, we have to have a proportionate uh, fueling increase for a very momentary brief period of time to match the burst of airflow coming into our engine. We'll explain that process. And then finally in the tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at dialing in our flex fuel portion of our calibration process. So we've dialed everything in on petrol fuel, we simply can drain the petrol fuel, put in ethanol, and then dial everything in. I'll explain what that's going to look like and how everything's gonna go in the last portion of the tutorial. First thing we're gonna take a look at is our cold start and warm up enrichment process. So this is pretty straightforward to dial up and tune, dial up. What the fuck? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Honda Civic SI. This training module, we're going to be taking a look at how to dial in our cold start and warm up enrichment fueling. We're also going to look at our acceleration enrichment fueling. So every time we hit the throttle, we have to have a proportionate change in our fueling to match the burst of airflow that's entering the engine. And then finally, we're going to wrap up the tutorial taking a look at dialing in a flex fuel based tune. So we're going to drain our petrol fuel out. We're gonna put in ethanol fuel and look at the calibration process, which is extremely simple, but we wanna go through everything step by step. So first thing we need to take a look at in this tutorial is looking at how to dial in our cold start and warm up enrichment. It's actually straightforward. We're gonna to have to test this out when we were building our base map and then we fired up the engine cold in that very first tutorial, everything seemed to work out fairly well where the engine cranked and it fired up and it idled pretty smoothly. We're gonna make sure everything looks 100% when we were doing that tutorial, we couldn't touch any of our after start or warm up enrichment tables or even cranking tables because we really didn't get a handle on everything dialed in on a warm engine. We know that our volumetric efficiency table, which we have open right here, this represents the estimation of airflow coming into the engine and this represents the engine in its warmed up state. So we'll find that after start enrichment, warm up enrichment, those are applied on top of our normal air and fuel model coming from our base, which is our VE table here. We need to establish this first before we can go in and take a look at using those modifiers to add additional fueling under that post start on the cold engine and that warm up enrichment on a cold engine. Things change on a cold engine. We have what's known as a wall wetting effect where when the fuel sprays out of the injector, it doesn't atomize very well and it's gonna to stick to the intake track and the intake valve and it's not gonna get into the engine as easily and as efficiently as when the engine is warm where we have proper atomization. So therefore, if we don't add additional fueling when we fire off the engine, it'll run lean, engine will shut off, it won't run or run really, really poorly. So that's why we have our after start enrichment and our warm up enrichment that we utilize to add additional fueling again, coming from or working against or adding against, I should say, our volumetric efficiency airflow model that we've already dialed in on a warm engine. So once we've dialed everything in here, which we have, then we can take a look at using these modifiers or adders on top of what's calculated from this main VE table. So that's really part of the secret to dialing in the cold start and the after start and the warm up enrichment is making sure that everything from your normal volumetric efficiency on a warm engine is 100% dialed in. So we know it is, which is why we can move into this calibration process. Now, I've let the vehicle sit here overnight. So it's sat for probably 18 hours and it hasn't ran. Really to take a look at a cold start or proper cold start, we need to let the engine sit for at least 12 hours before you test it again. So if you're not getting satisfactory results, getting the engine to crank and fire and run, you may have to go and wait for it to cool down again. Sometimes this process takes a couple revisions or iterations to get completely right. And we're gonna run with some of the base values that we had in the tables from Max. We got the engine to successfully start and run when we were doing the uh, startup and tuning tutorial. So it should be fairly good in this tutorial, but we're gonna check everything. 
We're gonna look at the after start. We're gonna look at that warm up enrichment, seeing if we can tweak or adjust anything. A uh, couple things with this that I wanna go and discuss real quickly here. If we go in here to our fuel, we go to our startup and warm up and uh, warm up and after start enrichment. And actually let's first jump into the priming table here. So fuel priming. So the fuel priming is gonna be adding a percentage of modifier against our base pow base pulse width that we're calculating, we can see percentage of base fuel. This is going to add a huge shot of fuel when we're cranking over the engine for the first one or two cranking revolutions. Then it switches from our priming table here over to our startup table, so the cranking fuel table. This is what it uses more of a long-term fueling under cranking conditions. Now this table is based on coolant temperature normally. I've turned this into a three-dimensional table basing this on ethanol concentration and coolant temperature. Now we're on petrol fuel or as close to petrol fuel as we're gonna get. We're about 16, 15% ethanol uh, blend in the fuel system right now. We can see our little uh, dot here is showing us the position where we're at. So 68 degrees and between zero and 20% ethanol concentration. This is gonna be what it uses for that fueling that we're gonna be adding in when we're in cranking conditions, this is a percentage of normal fueling. Now, thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.